I think one of the, the saddest parts is, you know, looking back, uh, Richard and Jill went out to get this Enid Blyton book mm, yeah, for the daughter it's, it's and really, actually yeah. she she had already sadly passed away. Yeah, um, it's, 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 There's something know. just really, it's really poignant and sad about that, I think. Yeah, because they, they you know, being the mum and dad, they, they obviously knew, you know, that she liked Enid Blyton books. Um, so they would have thought, oh, what, you know, and they had what, no idea. Really, what's gonna, they? what, what, what might cheer her up a little bit, you know? Because obviously they would, <clears throat> they would know that 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 Sarah's very distressed, you know, at this time. I mean, you know, with the title of the podcast, I mean, we spoke about this, haven't we? You know, mad or was he mad or was he bad or? And it's really hard to come to a conclusion. Actually, um, there's pretty much no information regarding uh, Hughes's upbringing or his childhood. Other than that, from, what was he, first defence at 14? Yeah, I mean, obviously there was something going on. That's that's not the norm, uh, but we don't know what that was. Um, so it, so as I said, it's, it's pretty impossible to make a conclusion as to, you know, whether he did have mental health problems, whether he had trauma in his childhood... Um, and what really led to him yeah. offending I mean, not, in such a way? I mean, you know, I think as we've as we've said, you know, we are mental health nurses. We're not we're not in in no way trying to make any um, excuses for him. But it because we don't know if he if he did have a mental illness. But but there is a reason that people become like this. We just don't know what that reason was. Um, you know, there is there is um, some psychiatrists who commented that he was you know, an explosive psychopath. However, we're not really sure whether that's in hindsight, looking yeah. back he, on, you know, what happened. Was he someone that treated him? Did did Hughes have a... a or, or is it just, um, uh, you know, a yeah. comment? Is it just bad luck? Yeah. Or, or, was he just, you know, a bad person? Yeah. A bad person. Not, not mentally ill. Was he a bad person? I mean, we're never going to know. I mean... Um, I think it's interesting though that when he was in jail he spent hours and hours doting over his daughter making her toys with matchsticks um, yeah apparently apparently uh, he's, he's, he's in some reports says he was a, a estranged wife Jean I think her name or some type of ex-wife but anyway that's by the by but yeah apparently he, he, he uh, well when he wasn't in prison um, he, he doted on the daughter you know but then to have, I'm not sure how old the daughter was. I read somewhere that so it was ten, so similar-ish age. Well, that's the exact same age. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 and to go and kill a ten-year-old I mean, girl that, is, is. I mean, well, I mean to kill anyone, of course, you know, baffles me. But, but, but to, to, yeah, you know, um, I mean, we don't. I mean, so we don't, we don't know, and that's not like a get at. We're not trying to kind of, you know. I mean, we don't know. What, we don't he, know. Was he mad or bad? There's no point saying because um, he certainly... But he certainly ticked some of the boxes. I mean, when you look at psychopathy, you know, it's it's characterised as, a, as a, a personality disorder with, you know, persistent yeah. antisocial behaviour, really? impaired empathy, you know, impaired, impaired remorse, that kind of disinhibited, you know, Bold. Well, he certainly he was able to kind of carry on after killing Sarah and then sending them out for a book, for a present for Sarah. It, it, to me, that just I sounds mean, like mind games, though, and it's it's. I don't it's know. Bizarre. I think I, it's hard to say. I think he was. I mean, he would have known the area roughly because he was living in Chesterfield and the moors where the pottery cottage is. You know, he he might not have. I don't think he possibly probably known where Pottery Cottage was, but he would have roughly known where he was because he'd been living, although he was from Preston in Lancashire, he had been living in, in uh, Chesterfield, which, as we've said, is, I don't know, eight, nine, ten miles from Pottery Cottage. So he would have roughly known where he was, but I don't, but it was, at, you know, it was at night, it was a, a snowstorm. So I think he just kind of made it up as he went along in terms of, I don't think it was a plan, you know, I'm going to... Um, this pottery cottage is up that way. I think it was a plan, obviously, on the moors where no one's about that he would yeah. ambush them then. I don't he, know. he just, you know, 
went with the opportunity, really. I mean, well, you know, you talked about psychopathy. I mean, personality disorder, I mean, as we know, I mean, it's a fairly recent... Um, term. Term. Diagnosis. diagnosis. Um, but that's not to say that people presenting with those set of symptoms that make a diagnosis, that's not to say that people didn't have a, a personality disorder before, but as we know, a diagnosis really... I mean, I think we both think this, Rachel, don't we? The diagnosis is only really useful, um, well, it's a set of symptoms that equate to a set of treatments. Yeah, but obviously, well, not obviously, but with personality disorders, I mean, when you look at the literature, there isn't really an agreed treatment as such, especially with things like, um, you know, antisocial behaviour and stuff, it's... It's not no. clear cut. But again, like we've said, we 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 can't say. You know, he might have just been a a a, a bad, a really bad person, a bad bastard, a really yeah. bad bastard. Yeah, and unfortunately, <clears throat> you know, these four innocent people um, died. Um, but Jill, Jill did um, get married a um, couple of years after to actually Richard's cousin. Uh, Keep who, it in the family. Who, well, they, they looked quite um, similar, actually, but it's Richard's cousin, I, I guess, there's going to be some family uh, resemblance, but that's by the by. But, um, um, and they had a daughter, actually, um, at some time after, and um, Jill's husband, he, he was actually jailed, I think, 1988, he threatened a pub landlord with a shotgun, uh, which must have brought back horrendous memories for... For Jill. Um, but, but she's never spoken publicly about the murders. No, and I don't, I don't blame I her, I don't to be blame honest. her for that. Um, and conceivably, um, she, she, she may still be alive. And if she, I hope so, yeah, yeah. If she is alive and doing well, then so. she, she'd possibly be around 80 she'd years old. She'd be about 80 and good, good on her. I, I, I hope she is. And she's got a daughter as well. I'm, I, I don't know if she's still married. Um, uh, but hopefully she's doing it. Um, doing well but just just as a last um ironic sort of point really um when Hughes was killed his ex-wife or a strange wife wanted Hughes to be taken back to Blackpool buried in Blackpool where she was living um now he was going to be it was buried a burial by state so state were paying and they wouldn't fit the uh foot the bill uh, for transport to Blackpool so then it was, is he going to be buried in Chesterfield? So more local to where he was living and obviously where he was killed. Um, there were lots of local protests. Um, certain um, churches had the, you know, doors, uh, no, not the doors, the gates to the cemeteries uh, padlocked. Um, and ironically, um, he was actually cremated at the same crematorium as the family that he murdered. And I believe, yeah, um, I believe that his ashes were given to his wife, and I don't know. Yeah, so, I what she did with yeah. Him. But anyway, thank you all for listening. Um, we hope that I'm gonna say enjoyed. Um, we don't, we don't enjoy people, kind of. We just find it interesting. We don't enjoy the murders, but we no, enjoy discussing the murders. We enjoy discussing it, um, and if one person enjoys it, then. We're happy. If, if no one enjoys it, we're still happy because we enjoy doing it. So, uh, see you next time. See you next time.